Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this series called United by Mathematics wherein I discuss questions which are related to different Olympiads of various countries. So this one is from South African Olympiad 2005. The question says a king is allowed to move in a single move to any of the squares touching the squares it is on including diagonals as shown in the figure. So this is a usual king move in a chess game. The question is how many different paths using exactly seven moves go from A to B. So from A to B in exactly seven moves. So let us count the number of columns from A to B first. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So seven columns from A to B and there are exactly seven moves. So that means by logic, by pure logic, the king will move one column towards right in every move. It has to shift column towards right in every move. Moreover, it can go one row up, it can, it can remain in the same row or it can go one row below if it is not in the bottom row. So how do we solve this? Right, so this is a very good question based on the combinatorics but we'll use a different approach to answer this question. Right, so what is the approach? So imagine this matrix. Imagine our king is in this particular box and it has to reach this box. So every box, I'll write a number which will represent the number of ways it can, the king can get into that box in. For example, if the king is here, so number of ways to reach this particular box is one. That is one shift towards the right. Likewise, the number of ways in which king can go to this box is one. That is diagonally. And simply, this would be one. If I talk about this, so number of ways a king can go to this particular box would be two. And this is the addition of these two. So one and one, this is the first row, first method, your first way, and one and two. So this and this. So there are two ways in which king can go to this particular box. Likewise, if I talk about this, this is only or two ways for this also. So one and one. So that means the number in every box can be found by adding the numbers of the boxes of the previous column which are adjacent to that particular box. For example, the number of ways to reach this particular box is one again. Right? So this and this, two moves. The number to reach this particular box in three moves is, of course, four. Two here, two here. The number to reach this particular box would be two plus two plus one because all the three boxes are adjacent to this box. So it will be five. And number of ways to reach this particular box would, of course, be three. Two plus one. And this would, of course, be one. There is only one way to reach here in the fourth move. Right. Now, to reach this box, I will have to add 5 and 4, which is 9. To reach this box, of course, the addition would be of 3, 4 and 5, which is uh, 12. 5 plus 3 plus 1 gives me 9. And this is 4. To write the number in box B, I need to add these two numbers. So we need to have these two numbers with us to find the number for box B. For this, we need to have these three numbers. So this number is of course 21, 9 plus 12, 9 plus 9 is 18 plus 12 gives me 30 and for this 13 plus 12 is 25. Let me write it again, 25, this is 30 and this is 21 and of course this is 13. So this is B, for this number it will be 51. And for this, it will be addition of 25 plus 30, which is 55 plus 21. It is 76. And this is the addition of 76 and 51, which is 127. So there are a total of 127 ways in which a king can move from A to B in exactly 7 moves. I hope you've liked this approach. This was different. And the counting, of course, we could do this question using counting as well. There are other ways of counting, but this was the method which seems to be the most elegant one. All right. Take care.